This video is on the determinants of the aggregate supply curve. Once again, you should have this explanation of aggregate demand and aggregate supply in front of you so that you can follow along. This can be downloaded from the um, to-do list in module 11 of the assignment section. Aggregate supply, aggregate demand model. The first determinant of aggregate supply is the prices of resources. The, if the prices of resources that are used by the firm, labor or capital or whatever resource, if that goes up, the firm is going to become less profitable. If the firm becomes less profitable, it is going to be less willing and able to produce goods and services, which is going to cause the aggregate supply curve to shift to the left. If the price of resources goes down, the aggregate supply curve will shift to the right because that will make the firm more profitable. I was unfortunate enough to live through the 1970s. Great music, but the economy was horrible. That's because there was both high inflation and high unemployment at the same time. And the reason is the aggregate supply curve was shifting to the left. If you draw the curves, shift the aggregate supply curve to the left, you'll see the price level going up, the level of output going down, and when the level of output goes down, of course, the unemployment rate goes up. Fortunately, <clears throat> I was employed, but a whole lot of folks were unemployed during this time. Now, why was the aggregate supply curve shifting to the left during the 1970s? The main reason was the rising price of petroleum. Now, you can read about the history of the 1970s and the OPEC cartel and how they were increasing the price of petroleum, but petroleum is a resource that goes into virtually everything. Plastics are made from petrochemicals, man-made quote-unquote fibers, artificial materials, all of that is made from petrochemicals, petroleum. And even all natural materials have to be shipped Engines must be lubricated by petroleum, and gasoline is refined from petroleum. So in virtually everything you can think of, there is a petroleum cost component. When the price of petroleum went up, the cost of producing goods went up. Profits went down. When profits went down, firms were less willing and able to produce goods and services. Aggregate supply curve shifted to the left. Today, we see the price of petroleum actually going down. This is good news. When the price of resources goes down, the aggregate supply curve shifts to the right. The price of petroleum is going down because petroleum is becoming more available. We're discovering petroleum all over the place. There are tons of it in North Dakota. And this new technology known as fracking is uh, where you can drill horizontally uh, is able to produce more and more petroleum. Now, fracking has some environmental consequences, and so we're going to see a fight between those who want to shift the aggregate supply curve to the right and those who want to save the environment over this issue of fracking. You know, watch for it on the news. Now, the second determinant of aggregate supply is the productivity of resources. If a piece of capital equipment can now produce 10 widgets an hour rather than one widget an hour, you can, know, you can clearly tell that the uh, productivity is going up and the profits to the firm is going up. When the profits to the firm goes up, this is going to make them more willing and able to produce goods and services, causing the aggregate supply curve to shift to the right. Interest rates. Now, that was a component of aggregate demand, but it's also a component of aggregate supply. If interest rates go up, firms become less profitable. If firms become less profitable, they're less willing and able to produce goods and services. Aggregate supply curve shifts to the left. Interest rates go down. Aggregate supply curve shifts to the right. So interest rates are very important because lower interest rates will not only shift the aggregate supply curve to the right, causing output to go up. They'll also shift the aggregate demand curve to the right, causing output to go up. So it's important that, ag that interest rates go down and stay low, of unless, of course, we're trying to fight inflation. Finally, on this list is government policies. The government policies can affect the profitability of business. One, of course, is business taxes. 
If the government raises business taxes, firms become less profitable. This will shift the aggregate supply curve to the left. Firms, if the government lowers business taxes, firms become more profitable. This will shift the aggregate supply curve to the right. Or consider business regulations. I'm talking about environmental regulations, workplace safety regulations. Now it's important to have these things, but the more regulations there are, the more expensive it becomes for firms to produce, the less profitable they are. The less profitable they are, the farther to the left the aggregate supply curve shifts. The fewer regulations, the farther to the right the aggregate supply curve shifts. Let's see what happens in the economy when the aggregate supply curve shifts one way or the other. Look at that. Here's the aggregate demand curve, aggregate supply curve. Here's the equilibrium price level, and the equilibrium level of output. Let's let the aggregate supply curve shift to the right. The aggregate supply curve shift to the right. Watch what happens to the level of output. Look at that. Aggregate supply curve shifts to the right. The level of output goes up. That's good because unemployment goes down. But watch. Watch what happens to the price level. The price level, there's a new equilibrium point, the price level goes down too. The price level goes down. That is the best of both worlds. Aggregate supply curve shifting to the right, causing the level of output to go up, the level of unemployment to go down, and look what happens to the price level. The price level goes down too. If you have any questions or comments about this video or anything you can think of, please post it to the Quiz 6 forum on the discussion board.